All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, array coloring. So I guess this is the 15th video of this series. So if you are following till now, please like the videos. Anyway, so the question is, you are given an array consisting of n integers. The task is to determine whether it is possible to color all the elements in two colors in such a way that some of elements of both colors have same parity. So basically either even even or odd odd. So you want to basically partition the array into two parts such that some in both should be of same parity. Either they both are even or odd. That's what the question is. And each color is at least one element color. So what it means is the partition should be non-empty. You have array A and you want to divide it into two parts. <coughs> in such a way, those two, be, those two should be non-empty. And <coughs> those two should be non-empty. And uh, some, basically, uh, the, the sum of all the elements in both should have same parity. Whether it is possible or not, that's what they are asking. So that's the question. And this explains, uh, like, they have said that it has to be a non-empty partition, right? Yeah, at least one element is colored. They are saying that at least one element should be colored. Each color should have at least one element colored. So it explains why n is greater than equals to 2. So in the worst case also, you can just put one element here, right? One, one element and your job will be done. Like basically that is the partition possible. Cool. So for example, they have just given an array and what they have done is they have just colored uh, 1, 2 and 3 with blue color and rest with red color. So 1, 2 and 3 gives a sum of 6 and uh, remaining this red color sum of 18. So you know that uh, 6 is even, 6 is even, 18 is even. So yeah, there is a way. To partition the array there is a way to partition the array and it's not like uh, you can say the partition is not in order right it's not like you're partitioning like this this part and this part it can be anything you just have to pick uh, you just have to divide the array elements into two parts such that their union is equal to the array but the sum the sum s1 and s2 basically the sum s1 and s2 the sum of all the elements a1 and a2 should have same parity that's what you're supposed to do okay just divide the array elements into two groups such that sum the sums parity of both the groups is same right cool so that's the question and uh, Anyway, input is simple. They have just taken the array. And for output, print yes if it is possible to color the array in two colors or print no. Right? So let me summarize the question for you. Uh, we are given an array A and we want to divide into two, two non-empty partitions. Just uh, distribute the elements into two arrays. Non-empty. That is an important one. Non-empty. And S1 and S2's parity should be same. What is S1 and S2 is sum of these two partitions. Right? Even, even. The, now, this is a question, right? This is a question about parity, right? So first things first, what should come to your mind is all the rules about like adding and multiplying or something odd and even numbers. Now you know we are dealing with sums here. So how do you approach this question that I am teaching you? I am not teaching the solution here. Solution and you can find it on editorial. But you saw that this question, now you saw one thing that this question was talking about something like parity. This question was talking about parity. That is the concept of even or odd. Okay. And we want the sums to be of same parity. Now in your mind, you should recall the rules about what happens when you add odd numbers to odd numbers, even numbers to odd numbers, what happens when we add even number of odd numbers, odd number of even numbers. Now, we don't need to remember it, but you can just derive it. For example, if you have an odd number and you add even number to it, what does it become? For example, you have 1 and you add 2 to it, it becomes an odd number, right? If you have an even number and if you add an even number to it, it just gives an even number, right? 2 plus 4 is 6. One of the rules uh, that what does come to your mind? If let's say you have odd plus odd plus odd, you have three ones, then you also give odd. But if you had, let's say, four ones, then it gives an even, right? So if you have four ones, it gives an even. So these rules, uh, you don't need to remember them, but this, this things you should start thinking in your mind. Okay, we are talking about parity and that too about sum. A sum of elements should be of same parity. So think about these rules, okay? Adding a odd to even gives you odd, even to odd gives you even, like odd elements, uh, like if you add odd number of odd elements, that the sum is odd. If you add even number of odd elements, the sum is even. Okay, so this is the direction that, should, that you should think, basically. Anyway. So let's just take some examples and try to make sense out of it. So these are the test cases that they've given. So let's just take one of them. Let's say this one, let's say this one. So can we partition it into two parts such that uh, S1 and S2, um, S1 and S2 is same. So what is S1 and S2? I already told, right? Uh, is sum of all the elements in partition one and S2 is sum of all the elements in partition two. So can we divide into two parts? Let's see, given an A2. So we have two, four, two, four, right? So two, two times, four, four times. Maybe I can just put something like this, two, four, two, four. And then, so 2, 2 gone, 4, 4 gone. And then I have 1, 2 times 3. So maybe I can put 1, 3 and 3, 5. And something like this. So now let's just see if it works. So this is even. This is even. This is even. I'm not actually concerned with the exact sum. I'm concerned whether it is of same parity or not. This is also even. And this is also even. So everything is even. So yeah, the partition is exist. They're not asking us the exact partition. Just tell us whether partition exists or not. Here it is possible. Now let's consider a case where there was no. So let's say this case. Can you partition it? 
Can you partition it? Uh, turns out no. Why? We'll come back to it. But let's uh, try to think this question now. Let's try to think about this question. So we have an array A. Okay. We have an array A. And we want to partition it such that S1 and S2 get the same parity. Now, this is all about parity, right? So at your disposal, what you have in array A, there are either odd elements or there are even elements, right? There are either odd elements or even elements. So initially, let's say both there is are empty, right? So you start off with some zero in both. I know I have to put at least one element, but initially you start off with a zero sum in both the arrays, right? Now, let's see. Uh, now we have only odd and even elements in array, right? Now think about uh, adding which elements uh, is not uh, like, of course, in the end I have to distribute all the odds and all the events into S1 and S2. Now think about adding which elements is not going to change much, like it's not going to change your problem statement basically right so initially you can say sum is zero so you can say the sum is even only right the sum is even only now think about it if i have events events means numbers like 2 4 6 8 10 right so think about it if s1 and s2 initially they both are zero right if i irrespective of what way i divide these events s1 and s2 is gonna stay even right irrespective of irrespective of however I divide these even numbers, so irrespective of however I divide these even numbers in S1 and S2, the sum S1 and S2 is always going to stay even. Do you agree with me? Right. So let's say you had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So irrespective of however I put it, let's say I put 2, 4 here and 6, 8 here. Let's say not 10. 6, 8 here. Or maybe even if you put 10 here, let's say. Or you can put 10 here. Irrespective of however I distribute even numbers, S1 and S2 is going to stay same. Basically the parity. S1 and S2's parity is going to Stay same. So this is a good point here. Irrespective of irrespective of how you distribute how you distribute events S1 and S2's parity doesn't change. Right? S1 and S2's parity doesn't change. So basically what you can do is all the events that you have is distributed anyway. Anyway, the parity is gonna be even in both the cases. Right? So let, now the question is simplified. You had an array A and now I have distributed the events. Just perform the distribution of events. Distribute the events. So now S1 is also even and S2 is also even. Okay, so these both are now right now even. So these both are right now even, right? So that's how you have distributed it. Now you might ask what if there were no events? Uh, if there were no events anyway, S1 and S2 are zero, right? So still it works. Still the parity is same. Okay, if there are no events. After you have distributed the events, the parity is still same, even only. That is the main idea. Now, we have odds to distribute. We have odds to distribute. Now, don't think, don't uh, break your head too much. Just take some examples. How are you going to distribute odds? So, what are the possibilities of odd numbers? Let's just say I had something like 135. If I had 135, can I distribute? Can I distribute 135 in a way uh, that the parity is uh, preserved? The parity is preserved. Hmm. Can you do it? Can you do it? So how do you distribute it basically? Either you will have to put let's say 135. So there are only a couple of ways. You can either put like 135 or maybe 13 and 5 or 135 and I don't don't put anything. Right? So provided of course there is some even existing, otherwise I'll leave, anyway these two are these two are only possible. So you observe one thing here. You observe one thing here. Here the parity is odd, here the parity is even, here the parity is uh, even, here the parity is odd, here the parity is even. And uh, not even, right? Here the parity is odd. Here the parity is odd, and here the parity is even. So, hear me out. Hear me out. Let's say if you had uh, four ones, can you now distribute it in such a way that uh, the parity of even is maintained? Parity of even is maintained, or anyway, however you however you add it, the parity should be same. So, what I want is what I'm asking you is, you can either make both of these parities odd, make both both of these parities odd or both of these parities even, that's what I'm asking, okay, not much. I'm asking, is there a way to distribute these odd numbers? What I'm asking is, is there a way to distribute these odd numbers such that S1, S2 turns odd or S1, S2 turns even? Now, hear me out, you have evens here, right? So if you want to convert even to odd, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? You need to add odd elements. You need to add odds. Basically, you need to add a basically odd sum, right? You need to add an odd sum because that we already saw, that we already saw. If you have an even and you want to convert into odd, you need to add an odd sum, right? So, how can you get an odd sum out of odds? How can you get an odd sum out of odds? So, yeah, I'm just considering of this case, right? I'm just considering of this case, right? So, the question is simple, right? So, after distributing the events, this is where we land up. This is where we land up, even, even. Now, 
I, I'm looking. I'm looking. Is there a way to add the remaining distribute the odd element in a way that this even even changes to odd odd, or this say, or this case is even even? I'm just considering the case when it is possible that they become odd odd. It is only possible if you add odd elements to both the sums, right? And when is that possible with only odd elements? With only odd elements, when is that possible? Then you can get an odd sum. Okay, so when with the odd elements, when is it possible that you get the odd sum? You have odd number of odd elements, right? You have odd number of odd elements. Odd number of odd elements. Okay, so basically, here let's say there were three ones, and here there were three ones, and then you can do it. If you had three ones here and three ones here, then anyway, the three sum is odd, and when you add three to it, then the parity changes to odd. So eventually, you will need six ones here, right? Eventually, you need six ones here. Fine. And uh, let's say, how can you convert this even into even even? It's simple. Just add even number of odds. Even number of odds. Let's say you add here three ones, you added right. So maybe you add four ones. Four ones. Eventually, you will need eight ones. Eventually, you need eight ones, right? So if you add uh, four ones to it and four ones to it, so without loss of reality, I've just considered one as odd number. But any odd number will still follow the property that odd number of odds gives you odd, and even number of odd gives you even. Yeah. Fine. So. Here's the question. So question is done and dusted here. Now you can observe one thing here that uh, if you want to convert this even into either odd odd or even even, you'll always need even number of odds. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what does happen? See, after distributing the evens, this you know. After distributing the evens, the parity is still same, even even. Now what I want is, is it possible that all the evens, like, is it possible this both this e gets converted to odd odd, or this stays even even? Now let's consider the case where this is possible. When this is possible, so this will be possible only if you add odd sums to both of them by the property of even and odd. So let's say I just add three ones here and three ones here. Okay, three ones and three ones here. So eventually I need to add six ones. So there there should be six odd elements at least if I want to make this odd here. Okay, six odd or basically without loss of generality, you will need even number of odds. So if I summarize this, you will need it even number of odds. Even number of odds, right? Okay, and if you want to make them even, anyway, you'll need to add a uh, even number of odds. So in that case, also you'll need even number of odds. So the question is, the question is nothing. The question is now is very simple. So first distribute the evens, and then you know the parity is still going to be even even. And now try to distribute odds. Try to make either odd odd or even even, odd odd or even even. In both the cases, in both the cases, you found out you will need odd number of even number of odds only. So the question is, the algorithm is simple. If you have even number of odds in your array. Then yes, it is always possible. We, I just showed you how. Else, no, it's not possible. Okay, so that's the question basically. Let's quickly quote it up. Uh, I hope you got it. I explained in a little bit more detail than I should have. Uh, if it was the tutorial, you will just see uh, there are just two three lines written there. But I my intention here was to show you how to approach this question. Anyway, enough pep talk. Let's quote it up. All right then. Uh, Let's uh, code the solution very quickly. So we just need to find out the odd count. How many odd elements are there? So initially, I initialized odd count to zero. And by the way, I've just taken the input behind the scenes, n and the array itself, and t test cases above. So we just need to find out how many odd elements are there. So I'll just go from int i equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, and if array of i is odd, basically if array mod two equal equals to one, then I can just increment odd count. I can just increment odd count. And what was the algorithm? If Odd count is even basically. Odd count is even, then it's always possible, right? So distribute the evens and then dis and distribute the odds, right? First distribute the evens and then distribute the odds equally. This is the way. So yes, new line else. See out no followed by new line. Right? So I hope you got it. First distribute the evens. So the parity is still even even. Now try to convert it be try to convert it odd odd or even even. And if you want to convert that, you will need odd. You will need even number of odds. So just find out how many odds are there. If they are even, then you are good to go. Good. Cool. So let me just run it. All right. So here's the output. Let me just verify the code forces. Yes, no. Yes, yes, no. Yes, yes. You can verify it for yourself as, as well, right? So that uh, how many odds are there here? Uh, one, two, three, four. So yeah, it should be yes. Let's just say this no case. So here four, seven, right? So anyway, we have only odd number of odds. So that's why it's no. Again, five or three to one. You can see. One, three, five. There are odd number of odds. That's why it's no. So yeah, that's that. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.